My name is Chris Worst. I'm the head football coach here at Kellum High School. My name is Frank Webster. I'm the head football coach at First Colonial High School. And my name is uh, Reggie Garrett. I'm the head football coach at uh, Frank W. Cox High School. Johnny White. I'm the head football coach here at Green River High School. I'm Ken Barto. And my name is Jeff Balance. I'm the head football coach at Princess Anne High School. My name is uh, my name is Jim Prince. I'm the head football coach at Ocean Lakes High School. My name is John Bowles. I'm at uh, Kimsville High School. I've been coaching here for five years, been the head coach here. This is 28 years that I've been coaching. Uh, I've been the head football coach here at this school for 32 years. I've coached football, this is my 41st year. I've been a football coach for 15 years. I've been here seven years and I have a total of 24 years coaching experience. This is my 27th year of coaching. I coached uh, 17 years on the college level at James Madison University and then I was five years as the head football coach at Cox High School here in Virginia Beach and then I took this job five years ago and this is our fifth year here at Ocean Lakes. We are finishing my third year as a head football coach here and I've been coaching football in this area for ten years. The top three ways that we use the earpiece is number one is signaling, giving the signal to our quarterback so he can call the play. The three most common ways we use this was basically we, we call the plays in to our offense without using a substitute to run it in. Uh, that was, was more effective, it was quicker, and uh, it cut down on the elimination of uh, one person delivering a message. Even if you know people say, well, we used hand signals and we got them in like that, once he's lost the focus of you on the sidelines, we no longer have the ability to give hand signals. Then it's a yelling contest of who can yell the loudest. Whereas with the micro ear, I could get situations into him up until the last second as far as if I wanted to call a timeout, if I didn't want to run that play, if I wanted to just take a delay and not get in to a bad situation. I mean, we don't have to huddle. That's another thing, especially defensively. You don't have to huddle. He can just get the call real quick, get the word out. And so if somebody's running a no huddle offense against you, it's real simple. And the other thing is, the third thing is you can make adjustments right on the field rather than me yelling. So I actually have a voice at the end of the game because I'm not hollering all the time. <laughs> Another way that, that we used it uh, on defense, we used it to get the play in as well uh, to our defense. Um, another thing as far as our, our quarterback is concerned, when the quarterback had it in his ears, uh, we could talk, I could tell him various strategies. I could tell him to look at the clock. Uh, I could get the information to him without hollering to the top of your voice. Uh, the micro ear has really allowed us to teach uh, our quarterbacks when we're uh, talking to them is to recognize the little thing. Yeah, I think I think it's, you can learn from uh, you know on the job training, so to speak, when you have that earpiece. Um, you can keep them aware of certain things like you know, hey, watch the screen instead of yelling out on the field, watch the screen or watch the draw or whatever it might be. You know, you can just remind them as the huddle is breaking, and uh, they can relay it to the rest of the team. Do it. I think it definitely. Um, helped him paying attention to what's going on out there and, and when I'm talking to him as he's walking up to the line of scrimmage or whatever he started to learn to look for different things other than me just telling him at practice it really helped him to be able to pick up some things in the game situation. Yes definitely I, I think it can be used as a teaching tool. Um, it's, it's been a great experience for us here at Princess Anne High School. The one thing it does for a player is he understands where we're coming from as far as the game plan especially offensively. Defensively, yes, but not as much as offensively. So he starts to understand mentally what's going on when we're calling the plays. It's like I said, we haven't had a delay penalty but one, and I called that delay. So as far as productivity, yes, much better. I think we're getting more offensive plays. I would say that on the average, we were usually getting in anywhere from 45 to 50 plays a game. I think this year we're probably up to like 60 plays a game. So statistically, uh, this year we had two delay of games. Two delay of games in the nine games that we've already played, uh, which is about 50% uh, lower than we'd have in a normal game situation. Um, as far as delay of game penalties goes in the past, um, about an average maybe two or three. Um, for one reason or, an, or another, whether it was my fault or the, one of the quarter, quarterback's fault, but uh, you know we have eliminated that this year. Uh, now, one thing that uh, 
that it has given us, it's given us six extra plays a game uh, compared to the last two seasons. Defense allow we use it every game. I think it's a great tool on defense. Using the earpiece, uh, I feel like we've had more offensive plays in. Um, uh, it helped uh, to speed the offense up. No, I'd say it's a good thing. I'd like to keep it. It helps a lot because then you don't have to worry about messing up the signs. You don't have to worry about the coach getting on you for you know, messing it up or calling the wrong play. If he, if he says something wrong in the earpiece, it's his fault. Oh, I like it a lot. You know, if coach sees something's on the field that I don't see, he'll tell me. He calls in the plays a lot quicker and helps the offense and the defense a lot. So we've come to rely on it, really. I, I like the system. I like, you know, the, just the earpiece. Uh, I was a little reluctant. And uh, I think probably I've got a little bit better understanding about it and kind of was an old school coach but I can see where it really is a beneficial thing. It's just a convenience, and it's, it's, a, good, it's a good teaching aid. You feel more comfortable with it, um, with calling plays and that type of thing. I, I believe it just helped us out tremendously. It's been nothing but a positive experience for the players and added, done nothing but add to the game. So uh, uh, to have that opportunity to vote for it, uh, it would be a, a foregone conclusion for me.